Alright guys, for those of you guys that just picked up your Tesla recently and you guys saw that your vehicle is missing ultrasonic sensors, don't fret because Tesla Vision is almost here. And I'm not saying that it's almost here just because we already know that it's almost here. The fact that there is pictures posted online and even videos alongside that just recently by Occupy Mars on Twitter. If you guys want to check this person out, it's really interesting what's going on with the progress, but they are rebuilding a Tesla. Now this was originally a salvaged Tesla with the front end completely smashed. It's gotten to the point where they need to replace everything, the front bumper, the hood, the fenders, and all the parts within. Now, although this wasn't initially the intention, they did find out something very interesting, and that's the fact that Tesla Vision is working within the car. Now, even though they are running software version back in September of 2022, it seems like Tesla Vision was already activated at that time to work in tandem with the ultrasonic sensors. Now, the way that they found this out was by tearing down the front bumper and all the parts to it, they disconnected the front ultrasonic sensors, and then it seems like everything was still working. Now, obviously, I can't show the video because of copyright and YouTube rules and whatnot, but I will post you guys some pictures right here, and if you guys want to see more of it, you know where to go. But uh, here it is showing the front end, everything was disconnected. Now originally I thought that there was still a chance that even though the bumpers were taken apart, the front bumper sensors were still intact, but it seems like they went and tried everything to make sure the Tesla Vision was working. They disconnected the front ultrasonic sensors alongside the front bumpers, they threw it aside and tested it again and it was still working perfectly. Now I guess this sparked their curiosity so they went ahead again and they removed the front radar system thinking that maybe the radar is picking up all these measurements but again they disconnected the radar, they went inside of the vehicle, backed it up and boom it was working again as if the ultrasonic sensors were in place. As they were backing up between the two vehicles they started to see the proximity lines as you typically see and then it started showing the distance between them 10 inches, 5 inches, and so on and so forth. And then just taking a peek outside, it looks like the measurement is very accurate. So it seems like Tesla Vision is doing very well at this point, but this person really wanted to make sure that it was Tesla Vision in the end, and they took it a step further. They blocked each and every camera just to make sure that it wasn't anything else. So if you can see in this picture right here, they blocked the front facing cameras, and then they tested, and then they blocked the B-pillar camera, and then they tested. So in the end, it seemed like Tesla Vision is currently basing off of the B-pillar camera, and what's weird is that even though the front facing camera is currently not being used, if you block it, it blocks out the whole entire system so you won't see any measurement, any distance proximity at all. But yeah, it's very interesting and this person is very active on Twitter showing all the testing that they're doing so fingers crossed that they continue to push out videos and I will keep you guys updated. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys want me to make videos as soon as anything comes out regarding the ultrasonic sensors or hardware 4. I'll definitely appreciate it if you guys click that notification bell alongside the subscribe button as well. So anytime I push out a video, you guys will get the heads up. Now, if you guys haven't watched any of my hardware 4 videos or if you guys watched a few, make sure you watch the rest. I'll drop a link up top there as well as the description below of all the videos. But let's talk about Tesla Vision and why I still disagree with the fact that Tesla Vision is going to work better than the ultrasonic sensors. All right, so it seems like Tesla is running Tesla Vision alongside in tandem with the ultrasonic sensors right now. As you guys can see from previous experiences, before Tesla removed the radar system, they turned on Tesla Vision in shadow mode. It worked together until the data was coming back exactly the same as radar, and then they just removed radar and let Tesla Vision take over. Now, it looks like they're doing the same thing here with the ultrasonic sensors. They removed it, but I think they did it ahead of time to the point where people are getting annoyed and holding off picking up their orders. Current owners right now don't get to experience what other people with the ultrasonic sensors are experiencing. That is currently summon and just the parking measurements. And I think there's a couple other things as well that they're missing out, but that's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is the fact that Tesla Vision has blind spots that the ultrasonic sensors cover. And this is what really bugs me because the cars that currently do not have the expansion or the capability to have that new radar that we talked about in previous videos. That's not going to be available for you guys, so there's definitely going to be blind spots right up front. And this is why I'm telling you guys again and again to hold off until we get more news of Hardware 4 and what they're going to be adding in. Because if you pick up a car right now, there is a big chance that even though Tesla Vision is going to be working for parking, it's not going to cover every part of the front bumper. And we'll talk about it more right here. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe, that notification bell. Really appreciate it, guys. So let's take a look at it right here with 
this picture, if you guys just take a look at where the front hood is, there's going to be a spot right underneath the line of sight of the camera where nothing is going to be seen. This is where originally all the ultrasonic sensors are, but now they're completely gone. So it's just going to be a spot where nobody can see. And what Tesla is doing is they're replacing that with something called the occupancy network. So the occupancy network has been around for a couple months now. And what it does is it tracks objects that is not drivable space. And let's say for an example, a boulder is in your way and instead of tracking it as a boulder it will just track it as a spot a non-drivable spot and the car just essentially tries to avoid it now that's great for autopilot and great for fsd but it's not so good for parking and the reason to that is that when you park your car your car turns off the camera turns off to save battery life and there's going to be a time where it does not track whatever comes into that blind spot. So just an example, if your cat or your dog, or let's say your kid's toy roll in front of your vehicle in the line of sight, the car can track it as soon as you turn it on. But if it rolls into the blind spot, it can only remember what was there before it turned off. So you're not going to get the accuracy that you do with live data from the ultrasonic sensors in every other vehicle out there. Now this could all change when they do add the new radar system inside that the radar system is going to act just like the ultrasonic sensors but for those of you guys that don't have it right now and you might not even have the wire harness for the new radar to be plugged in you're going to be out of luck you're not going to be able to get live data and that's where the situations come in where occupancy network is not going to work so yeah i'm just going to pop up a scribbly right here for you guys to see all the blind spots around the front area of the car and i guess if you guys just overlap it with current cameras uh, in sentry mode, you're going to be able to see that those areas are not included. So yeah, quite a bummer there. But I guess for those of you guys that are just waiting for any form of parking sensors, you're going to get it very soon, at least from what I'm seeing in these videos. It looks like Tesla Vision is already active in your vehicles and just waiting a software push to come out. So accuracy is there, measurements there, distance there. I think we're waiting probably another week or so before a software update comes out and it's going to surprise you guys with what they have. But keep your expectations low because as of right now, limitations are there. You can't really defeat hardware limitations with software all the time. There's times where you're going to have to upgrade hardware for things to work. But yeah, overall, that's really great news. And this is our first look at what Tesla Vision is all about. So yeah, hopefully this person continues to release more videos and for Tesla to just give us an update on what's going on. But anyways, guys, this should be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, you know what to do. This is John once again. Peace out.